is a gross terminology means abnormal obvious protrusion without affecting the gross nature of the part or organ so this is very very important without affecting the gross nature of the part or organ now even though we commonly use swelling in the surface in certain situations we use other terminology like lump or mass so when we we'll use those terminology now lump is he defined as lesion within the organ or causing the alteration in the gross nature or shape of the part or organ example is breast lump so there is a clinical difference between the swelling and the lump and one more terminology i have already told that is mass this is even though same about the swelling but difference is it is usually arising from the deeper plane so what is the mass mass is the lesion which is difficult to define it is arising from the deeper plane for example mass abdomen you see that exactly this is the swelling this is the surface this is what exactly defined this is the breast lump so it is from the organ so this is the mass abdomen from the deeper plane so this figures clearly gives the idea how these terminologies are used in different situations now history taking is very very important in uh, any clinical examination and more so in examination of the uh, swelling because if you take proper history your clinical diagnosis will be made far better better way so what are the components of that introduce and explain yourself and wish it don't don't immediately start uh, tell everything about what you are having problem but tell i am so and so and where you are from so to tell about your so be very gentle with them that is very very important make patient comfortable once you start your conversation in a simpler easier way they will be very comfortable then they will open up you have to make them to open up so that they will speak properly otherwise if they are very rigid if you are very reserved then they don't tell their problem then you are whatever history you want to elicit will be inadequate so make the patient comfortable and be pleasant don't be very stiff and uh, or very angry look all those things then they will get annoyed with how to speak to this fellow it's very very difficult they will be tensed up as such they are ill that's why they are coming to you there is called human touch when you look at the, your face your body language face language lang- eye language is a very very important thing for human beings so your yeah, language is very very important to appreciate yourself so they will come out with whatever history you want and take consent it is not a return consent when you when you, they come to you it is understood that they come with the consent when you speak with you with the confident then it is considered as a consent so take a verbal consent they understand that you are doing something better for their disease and so on it's a verbal consent you don't have a written consent when you examine a patient and create privacy it is not you when you ask about a disease illness when everybody is around you ask uh, and it is they should have some privacy to tell about tell about their problems uh, not when with the public so create a privacy when you take the history or when examining this patient is very very important to develop their confident towards you so this is a human touch this is very very important they will be with you so you go together with the patient always so that is the history taking basic thing so what all history you will take when you examine a patient or when patient comes with the history of swelling anywhere in the body age this is very very important first thing you ask what is your age this is very very relevant many diseases occurs in the newborn like cystic hygroma what is exactly it is i am going to discuss later is a swelling which occurs in the neck that occurs in the newborn bronchial cyst occurs in the adolescent second decade or early third decade and they are congenital even even though uh, in different age group it occurs they are actually begins at birth that's why it is congenital so the age is very very important certain disease occurs at later age group malignancy occurs at later age group so age is very very important uh, to identify what exactly this swelling may be and sex is important that you don't require to ask but it's understood so breast lump commonly occurs in females and uh, uterine mass ovary mass occurs in females and occupation is very very important see laryngeal cyst in the neck when they blow the trumpet uh, or flute repeatedly they do that professionals then their thyroid membrane may bulge and they will develop laryngocele swelling and uh, those who are regularly sweeping the or drying the place or rooms then they will get the swelling in the knee joint or their 
prayer they are kneeling and praying people they will again get the uh, swelling in the uh, knee joint they are called clergyman's knee or they are called as housemaid's knee because of the repeated friction inflammation over the prepatellar bursa or over the uh, infrapatellar bursa that is called as clergyman's knee prepatellar is called as housemaid's knee infrapatellar bursa is called as clergyman's knee so occupation is important so that if such relevant swelling is there you can correlate oh this is this is like this so its occupation because of this occupation is has started so that is again very very important and address certain disease occurs in certain situations like uh, thyroid swelling occurs in the interior areas and in the coastal region mainly lymphedema filarial disease occurs certain areas certain disease is quite common so if you say their occupation address you will have the geographical idea so that you will have the idea so probably because of because they are from this place so that is why this particular disease is selling here because of this disease so address is where, where they are from is very very relevant uh, to get the uh, now look at this figure cystic hygroma see the age newborn age and look at this uh, adolescent age maybe 20 year old bronchial cysts are congenital look at this man he is a trumpet blower he may be around 50s so this is the selling here so laryngeal occurs in this age group so this is the relevant thing age where swelling typical swelling occurs again see that breast lump in female patient thyroid nodule this thyroid nodule occurs commonly in females but when it occurs in male it is very very important because many many thyroid nodule in males could be malignancy so you have to give real importance uh, even thyroid nodule occurs in male because it could be malignancy you have to should be suspicious about that.